Hello and welcome friend, my name is Annika and today I'm doing a collaboration again and this time with the lovely Harsha Meeks and uh, we're doing a ACO or ATC challenge with a theme Spring Nymph. Harsha asked if I wanted to do this collaboration with her because she is doing her very first ACO or ATC and uh, she was inspired by me and uh, she thought it would be a fun idea to collaborate on something together. So that's how that happened. <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy to do this. And ACO stands for Art Card Edition and Original. And as the name implies, they can be either prints or originals. And they're often called ACOs when you sell them. And ATC is the same thing, but it's just uh, when you trade them. So they're artist trading cards. It can be a little confusing if you don't know the terms, but it's pretty simple. They're basically miniature artworks. And they're just two and a half inch by three and a half inch, which I am Swedish, <laughs> if you didn't know. And I don't use inch, we have the metric system here. So it is a little confusing at first, but if you have a ruler that has both inches and centimeters, then it's really simple to cut out your own. And that's what I do. I uh, cut out my paper of other bigger paper. Uh, so uh, that's how I do it. And I don't remember the exact millimeters for making an ACO, but as I said, it's much easier if you just get a ruler that has both. So back to this collaboration. The theme was the Spring Nymph, as I mentioned before, and uh, I was going to do my tree dryad character again, but I have done her uh, multiple times now different variations of course but I thought it would be fun to do something else so I thought that she is a nymph a creature with antlers and uh, she has a lot of uh, spring babies around her there's a little squirrel a little hare and a bear a deer and a little fox cub and uh, I thought it would be fun and I actually sketched out the idea first on a printed template thing that I made in Photoshop that I had printed out then I sketched some rough things on it and I've showed that in the beginning then I scanned that in put it into Photoshop and sketched some more and then <laughs> I printed it out and traced it on my light box and to a piece of paper that I was going to do the little illustration on so that sounds really complicated, but it's actually really useful uh, if you're doing something that's a little bit more complicated and you want to try different things. And because Photoshop has layers, you can move things around. Perhaps you draw the border on one layer and the characters on another. So from time to time, I do use this method because I think it's really useful. But I don't always do that because I'm lazy <laughs> and uh, I do have a little limited time. But when I want something that I want to spend a little more time on, I usually approach it like that. So that's what I did. And I was going to use watercolors, but I ended up going with Copics because I was running out of time and my little daughter has been claiming a lot of my time recently so I didn't have time to sit down and wait for paint to dry so uh, that's why I went with Copics and I lined it with my Stedler fine liner 0.05 size I guess it's called or 0 0.1 so a really small uh, lines because I didn't dare to use my Pentel pocket brush which I normally use and maybe I should have used it on the characters and left the border with fine liners, but I ended up lining the whole thing with those. And I also used Fine Tech Gold Palette, one of them. I don't remember exactly which one of them 
it is, but one of the goals, which is really beautiful, and uh, I totally recommend that. I would love to get some more colors, but I will probably do that eventually. And uh, I also use colored pencils to kind of get a little bit more details in the end. Because of the... I had to set up the camera at an angle, it was kind of difficult to come in and do the details, so it didn't really turn out the way I hoped. It's been a long time since I filmed, so it's a little tricky at a time to, when you're filming something this small, to kind of get in there and do things as you normally would. But I'm really happy with the result anyway. And I put together a Pinterest board again, as I did in my other collaboration that I did with Yulaline, Sarah. And uh, I will have that link in the description if you want to check that out. Because I think it's fun where that you can see where my inspiration came from and uh, how things change and how I interpret and uh, interpreted things. And uh, so back to the ACO and ATC thing. I've been doing them for a couple of years. I think my very first was back in 2012 or maybe even earlier. Uh, but I didn't start doing them regularly, regularly, like, uh, you know, <laughs> until 2013. Uh, then I did a whole lot. <laughs> and since then I've been doing a lot. I am currently have over 300 made because I scan and keep everything even though I sell them. And this one will also be for sale in my Etsy shop. But if uh, it's already gone, I will have prints of it. And if you can't see the print, you're always welcome to send me a message and I will do a custom print for you. Uh, because I sometimes I don't always get to doing prints in time, but you can always ask if you want something specific. Yeah, but uh, back to how I found the ACOs. I actually don't remember, but I have a vague memory of maybe it could be through Instagram. And uh, the very first ACO I bought was from a, a girl from Norway called Ellen Wilberg which she is so talented and I I love her art uh, and I'm re really lucky to have a few of her orig original ACOs that I bought. So that's where it started and um, since then I have a very small collection and I have, will show you it in the end, flip through it because you can get uh, these sleeve pages uh, that you can put in a binder so that you can collect ACOs and uh, ATCs and uh, that's what I've been doing. I don't I have a very small collection because I I can't afford to buy new ones at the moment and I don't have time to do trades very much. I've done a few but I don't do trades uh, that often and uh, except for the ATC it up with friends hosted by the lovely Pepkins or Tabitha Jensen which I will have a link to have website where all the information about the trading event will be and um, I believe the theme for June is fantasy science sci-fi travelers and adventurers and I'm really looking forward to start sketching on those and uh, I'm really excited about getting the returns for the Art Nouveau theme that was May's theme so I'm really looking forward to getting those back in the mail so that I can put them in my little binder uh, along with the other. Uh, I've been doing these every month since I believe the first one was either in November or December. There's been a few and I really love it very much and uh, it's so, so fun to be a part of and if you want to get a chance to get my ACOs if you don't afford to buy them, doing this event is a good way to maybe get one. It's an effort for effort. 
uh, kind of deals. So, back to the collab itself. It was really fun collaborating with you, Harsha, and I hope you had fun doing your very first ATC. And uh, I really look forward to seeing what you make. And I really suggest that you go and check her videos out because she is a really good instructor and very interesting to listen to when she explains things. Uh, she has a lot of knowledge about art history and talks a lot about very interesting topics and things and um, does uh, watercolor and gouache studies and demos and uh, yeah you should definitely go check her out and one last note is i do apologize that i haven't been posting very much in may uh, you only got one video i had one almost done but I have been having a difficulty finding time to do voiceovers and uh, as I mentioned before my little toddler is demanding a lot of attention at the moment so she comes first and uh, and of course I was busy with Mermaid and uh, I managed to do 22 uh, out of the 31 in time at least. I plan to do the other remaining ones plus some more because I really love making mermaids if you didn't uh, tell from watching my Instagram feed which you should follow me on if you want to see my current works and all that because that's a good place to see. So that's everything I guess. <laughs> I probably forgot to mention a lot of things but if you want to know just ask and I will try my best to answer. I know that I'm really terrible at communicating overall but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and go watch Harsha's video and yeah thank you very much for watching. Hey now!